Caitlin Upperton, Olympic silver medalist and community relations manager for Winsport. It is Monday, December the 16th, and this weekly report is brought to you by Bow Cycle. So we've sort of crashed the party here. We're visiting one of the snowcats at Winsports Calympic Park because we've decided to talk to one of the sources themselves. We're going to chat a little bit with uh, our manager of venues, Mr. Ian Newcomb. So let's head inside and have a, have a little bit of a chat. Okay, so hi, Ian. <laughs> Thanks for letting us crash your snowcat. No problem. Um, you have a pretty interesting job here at COP. What exactly are you and your crew responsible at Winsport? Uh, myself and my team are responsible for all the snow making um, and once we've made all the snow in all the venues we're responsible for maintaining those venues and those venues include the cross country trails, the ski jumps, the moguls course, the aerials, the main hill, half pipe, terrain park, um, kitty area, pretty much anything you see with snow on it we're responsible for maintaining. It's a huge job. Do you ski or snowboard actually? I do. I ski. I'm born and raised skier so yeah I ski around COP quite a bit. What's your favorite part of the hill? Um, I'm an old guy, so I like the main hill, but I love watching the park. Okay, so how many hours do you and your team work during the winter, like, you know, the last weeks where you've been making a ton of snow and, and starting to drive the cats? Yeah, when we're making snow, we're running 24-7 if we have the temperatures. I got three crews coming in around the clock, and then once we've made all the snow, which takes us about 25, 24 hour periods, uh, we then have to push out all the snow, and that takes hundreds of cat hours. For example, the half pipe takes 200 cat hours to build, the train park takes another 200, the cross country takes 50, and it just adds up and adds up till everything's open. 25, 24 hour periods to make all the snow you need. Yeah, and then with Chinooks, it shuts down and starts back up, so it can take anywhere from a month to three months, depending on the weather. And then we're hoping by Christmas to have the half-pipe, train park, everything open, ready to go before that Christmas break. Yeah, makes sense. Um, what do you love the most about your job here at Winsport? Um, I love just this, being outside, driving cat, being able to work in the ski and snowboard industry and see people and patrons uh, on these venues that we work so hard to build during snowmaking and grooming season. Awesome, having fun riding all the features. Um, this looks like, well, you got, looks like you got a lot of work to do and this has been amazing. So um, can we take the cat for a spin? Can you show us uh, how this thing moves? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Driving off a mountain, no big deal. It's fine, it's safe. Only to be done by professionals. You could play the best prank on somebody. Like if this was like, closer to somebody's neighborhood you could just bury their car or something for fun have you ever thought about that uh, a couple times yeah there's a few people that I'd like to bury their car <laughs> okay let's be honest everybody there's nothing cuter than small tiny children on snowboards and that's why this weekend you should bring your little kids out to our Burton Riglet Park we have one happening this weekend on December 21st and 22nd our Burton Riglet Parks are unique learning environments with animation and tools to engage kids um, to how to learn in a super fun way and a key feature of our Burton Riglet Park is something called the Burton Riglet Reel and that allows the coaches to pull the kids through and around the features of the park with ease it's super fun so bring your kids out, teach them how to snowboard, and it's free with your lift ticket. It's been an awesome few weeks watching some of Canada's best athletes prepare for the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympics, and this weekend is going to be no different. If you're heading up to the mountains, make sure you stop by Lake Louise, because on Saturday, December 21st, it is the Sport Check Snowboard World Cup competition, where the best border cross athletes in the world are going to be fighting for the podium and for Olympic qualifications. Make sure you bring out your family, have a nice day of skiing, and come cheer on our Canadians. And do not forget your cowbell. So just after Christmas, we have some really neat holiday programs going on at COP. I'm going to tell you about them now. So if you want to sign up, you can. Um, from December 27th to the 30th, we have a 90-minute lesson happening for four consecutive days in a row. And again, we have the same deal starting from January 2nd, running till January the 5th. Times vary. They also have day camps, which are six hours of, of lessons for a day, including lunch, for youth and teen. To get all the info and to register, visit winsport.ca or give guest services a call. We'll